Hello everybody, welcome back to Healthy Foodie Girl, or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Shauna, Healthy Foodie Girl. And I'm Ella, Healthy Foodie Girl Mini. And on this channel, we do easy, delicious, and healthy recipes. That's right, that we know you're going to love, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned. I absolutely love this super fresh pico de gallo. It's perfect with chips, but not only that, it's awesome with fish tacos, chicken tacos, salads, beans, scrambled eggs in the morning, you name it. Let's get into this video, but first, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already, and hit the dinger, that's the bell, so you get those notifications when our next video comes out because we don't want you to miss anything. Now let's get into this video. These are all the ingredients that you're going to need to make your pico de gallo. First, we're going to take a jalapeno, cut it in half, and remove the seeds and the white part. Then we are going to take it and cut it into tiny pieces. After you do that, you're going to take a half of a lime and squeeze the lime juice into the bowl. You're going to want to marinate the jalapenos in the lime juice for a little while while you're making the rest of your salsa. This helps to maximize the flavor. It's so delicious. So go ahead and squeeze half a lime into the jalapeno and put that to the side while we get the rest of the ingredients going. Now we have one clove of garlic. We're going to crush the garlic and put this into the mixture while it's marinating in the lime, followed by one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. You can salt to taste later on if you don't have enough, but this was perfect for us. Now we're going to take one cup of white or sweet onion. You can use whichever you want. You could also use a purple onion. I like to use this handy chopper because it helps me cut the onion perfectly as my knife skills are not as awesome as this chopper is. I have perfectly chopped onions all the same size. I absolutely love this chopper. Anyways, Go ahead and take that one cup of white onion, purple onion, or sweet onion and add that into your mixture. Now we're going to take a bunch of cilantro, but before we do that, you're going to wash it really good and thoroughly rinse it with water. We've taken our spinner and we're taking all of the water out of it. You want to make sure it's dry before you start to chop it. Also, we're going to remove the leaves from the stem because the stem is bitter and you don't want that in your pico de gallo. So once you've removed all the stems, go ahead and chop it finely till it's this consistency and you're gonna add that into your bowl next. We have six Roma tomatoes. We're going to cut them all in half, remove the seeds and the white part inside. Then we're going to chop them into little consistent pieces the best that you can. Continue to slice all of your tomatoes and evenly cut them into little pieces. You're going to do this with all six of your tomatoes. Put them into the bowl and thoroughly combine all of the ingredients. This is so fresh and delicious. I know you're going to love it. I love having this with chips, but not only chips. One of my favorite ways to enjoy this delicious pico de gallo is in the morning with my tortilla with beans and cheese. It's so good. It really adds delicious flavor to any dish. You can find the recipe on our website at healthyfoodiegirl.com. You're definitely going to want to try our skinny margaritas to go perfect with this pico de gallo as well as our delicious and creamy Caesar salad and our cheese and chicken enchiladas. You can get the recipes from the videos on our channel or print them at healthyfoodygirl.com. We really hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you did, give us a thumbs up. And make sure to check out our website, healthyfoodygirl.com, where you can print the recipe. Absolutely. As well as while you're there, sign up for our email list because we deliver those healthy recipes straight to your inbox every week and we don't want you to miss a thing. Cheers to you. We'll see you next time at Healthy Foodie Girl.